people. Now, I know that some of you who watch my videos don't believe in any type of divine creator. Since I believe in God, you and me probably don't see things eye to eye. So, I'm just curious what you think about the questions I'm about to ask you. This is not meant to be a debate. Um, I'm just wondering what you think. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to demean your ideas on life by making this video, just so you know. I'm just intrigued to hear what you have to say. I want to get inside an atheist's head. So let's get started. Okay. So, the first question I'm going to ask is probably one of the most common you hear. Where did life and humanity begin? Or, where did it originate? Where did we all come from? Probably the response I'm going to get is either through evolution or the Big Bang. But how did the Big Bang come about? How did evolution come about? Did that all just come into existence through nothing? That that's not logical. What what do you think? This is not meant to be a debate. Um Agree with Richard Dawkins that there were intelligent life forms on other planets that created us then went away? He said that in the movie Expelled, just if you're wondering where I got that information. My second question. is, are humans of more intrinsic value than animals? Why or why not? If we are, humans are capable of speech and are able to make intelligent decisions, but since you base your belief off of whatever you want, Why would humans have any more worth than animals? And if humans and animals are the same, should you be put in jail for killing an elk or eating meat? How about plants? Plants are living organisms too. They can't move or communicate, but they are certainly alive. So if you step on a plant by accident, should you be punished? The next question is, how do you determine what is moral or immoral, right or wrong? Is there any objective standard or principle?
Instinctively, we know not to be cruel. We strive to be friendly to others. My fourth question is, since, in your opinion, nothing happens to you after you die, why do you feel the need to care about what others believe? Why are you so concerned with debating deistic people? What good will come of it? If you manage to bring another to believing as you do, so what? You all just cease to exist if you die anyway. Alright, so my last question is, is an, is an atheist's lack of experience more compelling than a believer's claim of experience? Because an atheist is usually an atheist because of their lack of belief in anything they cannot see in the natural world. Are your beliefs more valid because you claim you have never seen proof of God? There are billions of people in the world who believe in God and have seen Him work in their lives and testify to a life-changing experience with Jesus Christ. This is not meant to be a debate. Um, are all of these people lying, deceitful, or insane? Do you just disregard people's belief in God because it's easier to live a life by your rules instead of having to repent to a divine entity? Thinking through all this, I kind of came across another question. Are you happy? Since you don't think there's a reason why you're here, and when you perish, you cease to exist. Does that bother you at all? Are you scared of the unknown? What do you think? Okay, so that's it. Please let me know what you think. See ya!